This is the DeWalt DCN690. It's an 18 volt cordless nail gun. It'll fire between 50mm and 90mm long annular ring nails. This machine is extremely useful. It's light, it's portable, you can take it virtually anywhere. Traditional cordless nail guns required a fuel cell. This particular machine doesn't. All you need is the actual battery that comes with the machine. So I'm now going to give you a quick demonstration of the machine and a couple of the features on the machine. Before using a machine like this, it's essential that you wear a pair of safety glasses. So here I've got a piece of 4x2 timber, which I'm going to fasten into the work mate. So if we take a look at the nail gun, the first thing is the battery, which is from the DeWalt XR range. And if we press the button on the front there, you've got a charge indicator, which shows that this one is fully charged. So I'll just slot that on there. You've also got an hook that you can turn around and you can use that for hooking the machine onto your belt. So here we have the switch or the trigger and also we've got a lock button there which you can use to lock the machine. On the top of the machine is the stall release lever. So if the machine stalls the light at the back there will illuminate to tell you that it has stalled. All you need to do is flick that lever until the stall has cleared. On the back of the machine here you have a light to tell you when the battery is flat and also another light at the side of it to tell you when the machine has stalled. So I'll now give you a demonstration of how to load the machine. Firstly there's a lock button there, I'm just going to press that with my forefinger, that has now locked the machine. I'm now going to pull this lever back all the way until it fits in position there. Then all you do is take the nails, slide them into the magazine and then release that lever. Now the machine is loaded and it's ready to go. An important thing when you're using a gun like this is to keep your hand well away from the end of it. What you don't want to do is fire a nail into your hand. Also be aware that when you're firing a nail into material the nail can deflect and it can stick out. So for that reason, whenever you're using a gun like this, keep your other hand well clear of the machine. The machine is actually in the single fire mode at the moment, so we're going to fire some nails into this piece of 4x2 and we're just going to do them individually. The machine does have a safety feature and that is the actual bit on the end. You can't actually fire a nail until the end bit is pressed in. So. We're now going to fire a few nails with this and show you just exactly how good it is. So if you just take the gun, press it down, immediately you will hear the machine start. And then when you fire the trigger, it will fire the nail in. So I'll just fire another one in. At the front of the machine is the depth adjustment screw. So if you turn that, it adjusts the depth at which the screw is fired into the timber. So if we turn it all the way to the left, it won't fire the nail in as deep. And if you turn it all the way to the right, it will fire the nail in extremely deep. So it's now all the way to the left. And you can see that the nail is virtually flush with the top of the timber. I'm now going to turn it the opposite way. So it's now all the way to the right and it's actually buried that nail head in there about 15 millimeters. So that is what the actual adjustment screw is for there at the front. So if we now flick the selector lever over to the rapid fire, we can then fire nails at a rapid pace. If you keep your finger on the trigger, you can simply bounce the machine Every time you put the machine down, it will fire a nail. So the machine is extremely fast. If you're doing any kind of stud work, any kind of decking, this is a machine that's going to make your life a lot easier. So just to give you a close up, 
That was the nail that I fired in with the depth adjustment all the way to the left. That was it when it was set all the way to the right. If you look at the other side, you can see that it has sunk that nail in probably 10 to 15 milli further than the other nail.